Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. I'm starting a fresh new uh, journal today. Uh, this is from Moleskin. It's always a very nice feeling when you start a blank uh, journal. I'm just sticking uh, two pages together here. I always do that. Uh, sometimes I don't show, but this time uh, I want to show you. Uh, back and forth, uh, always I stick two pages together to make it stronger. For my background, I'm going to use this beautiful uh, napkin. Uh, to make it a little bit more uh, transparent, I'm re removing the white uh, part at the back. This is a really uh, cheap and easy way of creating uh, nice backgrounds without any effort actually. Uh, as you see, this is a beautiful uh, tiles uh, mosaic background. I actually did another video showing you uh, how to use uh, table napkins uh, on your art journals. Uh, that time I used some butterflies uh, as focal points and this time I'm going to use another uh, for background. I will link uh, my other video at the description area uh, for you to see other ways to use uh, napkins uh, as tools in your art journals. I sticked my uh, napkin with a uh, matte medium and I'm uh, cutting the excess uh, from the page. And as you see, I have a really nice uh, background already. Since I like it so much, I'm not going to use gesso to push it uh, to the back. Uh, however, I will uh, use some uh, inks to give a uh, color to my uh, background. So I'm using distress inks here. I will go for green tones. Uh, as I move, uh, you will see the color that I'm using uh, written on the screen. And just to remind you as well, uh, you will find full list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog as well as the close-up pictures as usual. I think these uh, tones of green uh, goes very well with the uh, background colors. As you see, I'm also mixing and uh, blending different tones of greens just to create some variety and make it more interesting. And finally, I am also going to use a little bit of vintage photo to make it more distressed, more vintage looking and uh, a little bit uh, muted. And this time I will move to the focal point uh, directly. I am using this crafters workshop uh, stencil and I will use uh, one of the images, the dragonfly, as my uh, focal points. I'm using a black embossing paste to apply uh, with this uh, stencil. And actually, uh, after I applied this one, uh, I realized I didn't seal my page. Uh, if I keep going like this and uh, I need to clean it, uh, apply another thing, it might be messy. So I am uh, sealing my distress inks with a matte medium here. This way I will be able to apply any medium on top and the beautiful background uh, I did uh, is not going to move or be smudged. I'm going to create uh, two more dragonflies. And to add a little bit more interest uh, on my page, uh, I decided to do uh, more stenciling. Uh, but this time I won't have it raised, so I'm using a heavy body black uh, acrylic paint here. And uh, I have this stencil uh, that I did myself. Uh, you know, if you watched my videos, uh, you know I like to do my stencils as well. I use my silhouette digital cutter to, to do that. I just pick uh, an image and uh, cut it on uh, a stencil sheet rather than a normal paper uh, sheet so I can uh, use it as a stencil. 
Uh, I'm just uh, applying it uh, with paint uh, and uh, a sponge. Uh, I use the heavy body acrylic paint because if it's too fluid, uh, it will seep under your uh, stencil. So it's important that it's heavy body. Uh, and I'm trying to uh, apply it here and there uh, in the places that I see. Uh, it will make it uh, more interesting and uh, bring some texture. And uh, I decided to give some color to my dragonflies um, and actually a little bit shine uh, more than color. So I'm using my uh, wax. Uh, these are metallic uh, waxes from uh, Creative Expressions. Uh, you can apply it with a brush or with your hand. Uh, and I'm using the color Cast Bronze. And it actually matches with the vintage photo uh, ink that I used at the background. I will also use a little bit chic moss, which is a green uh, color, uh, just to give highlights here and there, because then uh, it will match uh, the greens at the background. And uh, I will give a little bit uh, highlights to my feathers uh, using my uh, Uniball Signo white gel pen. And now it's time to uh, work on the sentiment. Uh, I have my label maker here to print my sentiments. Uh, this is a really useful machine actually uh, to have your sentiments printed if they are long uh, rather than uh, stamping it. Uh, it also gives a background and it's uh, a sticker directly so you can stick it on your page. And it's not an expensive tool, I got it from Amazon, I think it was $9.99, uh, so it was a good investment. Uh, of course my sentiment is about uh, dragonflies, uh, it is like a poem actually. And I will uh, have part of the sentiment with these uh, stickers that I created and part of it uh, I will stamp and emboss it. Uh, the words that I want to uh, highlight. So I'm using this uh, uh, alphabet set. This is actually one of my favorite alphabet stamps uh, because it has big uh, capital letters, uh, small letters, uh, bigger size and smaller size. Uh, so it can serve many purposes. I'm covering my page with my anti-static tool first uh, for the embossing powder not to stick uh, all over the page. And I'm using vanilla uh, embossing powder here from WOW. As you see it worked quite well. Uh, I chose vanilla because I didn't want it to be uh, so white, uh, bright white. Uh, so this works better uh, with the background colors. And uh, I am also sticking my uh, stickers. As you see, I'm going back and forth, uh, embossing my sentiment and uh, putting my stickers uh, because I'm trying to uh, decide the composition and make it look nice. And finally I'm done with it and I think it looks quite nice. Uh, now I decided to do a little bit more texture work and uh, bring stars into the page because uh, in my sentiment it talks about uh, stars as well. This is my favorite uh, stars uh, stencil. It's from Crafters Workshop. Uh, I like it a lot because uh, there are big and small stars. And the size of them uh, fits into an art journal page uh, really well. So I'm applying it again here and there with uh, embossing uh, paste.
here it is and uh, to give a border to my page I decided to use the same uh, color of uh, wax that I used to color my dragonflies this is cast bronze When I am giving a little bit uh, green highlights uh, to my stars uh, as well because they look too very white to me uh, so I am just uh, touching barely with this uh, green uh, wax uh, on them it makes it blend better with the page I will also do some splashes with this uh, vanilla uh, acrylic paint from Paper Artsy to bring the page together and uh, when I thought it was finished, uh, actually, uh, after taking pictures, I decided uh, the dragonflies didn't stand out and uh, blended too much uh, with the page. So uh, I decided to uh, make them black again. Uh, I'm using black gesso here. I try to show you uh, my uh, mistakes and the things that I changed uh, as well uh, because uh, sometimes uh, we look and we don't like something and there are ways to fix it so I want to share this and as you see uh, the moment I uh, painted it uh, with uh, black gesso they stand out quite clearly because these are the focal points I thought uh, they should stand out more than uh, blending in to the background and since I made them black now, uh, I feel like I need to give a black border. So I'm using my Faber Castell uh, big brush uh, pen in black uh, to just draw a border myself and blend it uh, to the page. And as you can guess, of course, I will do some black splashes too to bring the page together. And since I have this black now under my hand, I decided to do a couple of highlights on my uh, sentiments too. And this is the page for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it and got inspired. If you did, please don't forget to give me thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. This is how I know uh, you like my projects. Reminding again, uh, you will find full list of supplies down below at the description area or in my blog as well as close-up pictures. Thanks for watching and see you next time!